power button on the big remote. Looks like I have okay stream help. What's up, Paula Wall? So today I'm going to do another layer on this geode. I need to show you guys how it turned out. Let me find another angle. Bam, bam, bam. This is how it turned out so far. Which is not like that big a deal from where it was yesterday in that it didn't change a lot, but the fact that it didn't change a lot is great. It's what I wanted. It's why I didn't use the um, regular resin. I used the quick set. And it set up super nice. I love the way that silver in the middle has that vein in the middle of it. Whitey nice, in my opinion. Whitey nice. So now the challenge is doing the next layer without losing what I did on the other layers. What's up, y'all? Hey, quick question. If anybody has a, uh, a DLSR, is that it? DSLR? Uh, a camera with the, um, Not what do you call it? Um, a camera with the screen how do you turn this cam this screen off when you record? Um, because if I try to push this button when you normally do to turn it off, it starts to record. And this is on, and then it drains the battery like super fast. I recorded a video the other day with this, and it only got like 22 minutes of it. That battery pack should be in today. Yeah. Um. um so how... How do you turn this, just the screen off, or can you? I don't know. You probably can. Thanks, y'all. I'm hoping that this will be the last layer. Hopefully, they'll answer your question. Hopefully, someone will know, but it'll be down here. I think you need to go a little thicker. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to let the next... It's so... It's so pretty, like, so soft. Uh-oh, looks like you didn't blow the bubbles out of that side. I just want to take it off. <laughs> just, to, just to see how it comes off. I think I'm just going to start doing these, like, super fine. Just picking them up and making them all gnarly and then charging a lot for them. Whole ten dollars. A whole ten bucks. <laughs> okay. Anybody say? Move your button. Um, we need a new chair for they this. want to know what brand of everything. Cannon. And do you guys like this microphone? I, I watched some of our videos today on a TV, and I had to turn it up. And I apologize if we needed to turn that up somehow. I just don't know how to use that mic. Um, We're in a learning process. All right, y'all. So just as I did in the second layer, I'm going to use, nope, where am I? Right here. Uh, Stone Coats Quick Setting Resin. Now, if you missed the first video, go back and check it out. If you missed the second video, you really need to go back and check it out because I showed you basically how not long it takes for this resin to set. Oh, movie record size, 29 minutes, 59 seconds, standard. I'm glad y'all know what you're doing with that, because I have no idea. Standard. Joanne, she, yeah, you don't have to sand when you're doing artwork, right? 
If you think someone's gonna come through and pick at it, then I think resin sticks to itself, though, right? I don't think. No, that that's why you have to sand it because it doesn't stick to plastic, and epoxy is plastic. <sighs> if I thought someone was gonna mess with it, I would do it. But I'm gonna do more coats that'll end up overflowing. My final coat's gonna be yeah. a flood, so I'll sand that one. And that will encase all the sides where it would even consider peeling up. So, take image out of the wall for video. Technically, you should sand between, but this is a test mainly. Okay. Now. I'm mixing a little extra into this because I want to force it into a hyper setup situation because I want to lay the lines a little bit thicker. And when you add more paint into your resin, it'll start to set up a little faster. Um, I'm going to figure out how to hang it. I have these little plate hanger things that I'm going to try and see if they'll work. They're for like hanging decorative plates onto a wall securely. So we'll see if that works. What's up, Petra? Petra, have you used this fast setting resin? Your plastic is really nice. I'm really digging how well this, um, the resin pops up like this. If, if you have been looking to peel something off of this, you can get these dots. I just said no, I have an Erica. I only use Mastercast. A Mastercast is really good for geodes. That's, that was yeah. what I first started using with my geodes. But this stuff is crazy bananas and I should send you some. So this is already a borderline marshmallowy, and I'm hoping that it'll set up faster than it otherwise would. Because I want it to be even thicker than it regularly is. Ooh, I could use that stuff. The thickening stuff. But you would have to go get me a mask is apparently deadly toxic. You can do Wi-Fi with this if you go to your computer. Do you think that's what that would be? I don't know, love. We'll have to check it out later. Nights don't are... I'm not seeing anything in the manual about turning You would think that you'd be able to turn it off because um, it drains a battery. Like it totally drains it. Cropping, rotating, slideshow, image jump, auto focus point display, surveying. So many settings. Fish eye. That's crazy. Love filter. Arc bold effect. 
If they're asking questions. Sorry. Oh my God. Menu. Live viewing setting disabled. <laughs> Menu. Live viewing setting. So there's so many different settings. There's there's a lot of set <laughs> a lot of settings. Marcy, are you getting frustrated with me? Sorry. Hi, Christy. Let's see. Wrench. Auto power off. I bet that helps to turn it down the brightness. Most likely. Viewfinder display. Misty, I just, I don't know where my manual is. <laughs> I like to experiment with things like this, which probably is a bad thing. I'm a horrible reader. I don't, I don't take stuff in. It just kind of goes in here. And, He's you know, a visual learner. <laughs> How long does this resin take to set? Um, I think yesterday it set within an hour. And this is already starting to get warm, but I want it to start to thicken up just a tad more before I lay on another layer here. And I have this thickening agent that I meant to use, but haven't because I don't know how much goes into it. Oops. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I can do that on my phone. So you can you can connect to Wi-Fi on this. You sure. I did not know that. Let's just read the questions and I will find it. 
where did you buy the geo molds? She, she made those, but with silicone copying. I think like two or three videos ago, I did it live. Check it out. turns to you guys for help, just like y'all turn to us for yes. help sometimes. going to be a, uh, a kind of a short video. We've got to go to my friend Gabe's house. They're going to have a baby in a minute. I know. She might have that baby today. I'm hungry, so I better get over there before she has a baby. <laughs> no, baby, you're not coming right now. I've got to eat. <laughs> get back in there, baby. Basically, I'm filling in the areas that I want to have present on the top layer and with clear so that you can see that hard work. Pop out chat. Get rid of this guy. Make chat bigger. There. Now I can read your, your comments and your questions and your concerns. On the whole screen. That's awesome. How many hours ago, Nicole? Oh. Ooh, I bought some of that uh, cryptic art. I bought some of that naked, uh, what's it called? Protein shakes. In a big jug. It's good. It's good for energy. Silver looks. Oh, that's so good. That's so nice. She blows me away with her her execution. Is it setting up? Setting up. It's oh, about to turn into fire. You let it set in the cup too long. Mm -hmm. See that, guys? You got to be fast with this stuff. <laughs> I don't like that. There's too much contrast in that. Let's, uh, let's get him closer to this. I want to fix that. Now it looks like there's big hair in it. She's a regular in the group. See you later, Misty Chambers. Have a good rest of your Saturday.
for a second, I considered maybe putting the resin into like a freezer. just because it's separated? Hold on, this is about to thicken up on me. I gotta get it out. The cup. That's what she said. Ew. <laughs> one. You can take him in for a ride for close to Epi. Check this out, y'all. I love to see that ring light in the reflection. And the way that this thin line did sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> what it does is because of this metal flake that I'm using, it's just a characteristic of that. This is um, something. There's not even a, oh. It's a resi tint by Eli Chem in the color aluminum. It works a lot like Mayron does. Could have been your your uh, Linda the Montana paint. I've never had a problem with it. Um, it could be your cap, your your spray paint cap. Hold on one minute. I'm gonna go get one to do a demo for y'all. start with clear.
haven't read anything. I don't know if they're asking a question. Um, let's see here. <laughs> B, what do you use to get the other line of silver? <laughs> it's just it's just the separating silver. So it's the pigment. It's almost I feel like it's it's metal that's it being is. Released, it's metal flake. That's being released from the paint and it floats up to the top and gives you that little crazy little line. Yeah. It it, it makes me think of how Gold is deposited into the little crevices when, when you search for gold. If that makes sense. Mm -mm, but I think we know what you it's mean. It's exactly the same, but completely different. One hundred percent different. Um, the same. Okay, who was asking me about the Montana? Linda, I believe. Who? Probably Linda. Linda. Um, this is not your average <laughs> Montana spray paint can. Um, but we're not your average artist. Um, I have a lot of different caps. Look at this guy. That's a messy one right there. Um, what you want to do, the stock caps normally, I think it's a fat cap, which is probably one like this that comes on these Montanas. Um, if you can, I would go to uh, your local like head shop or um, graffiti store if you have one in your uh, in your in your hood <laughs> and get a couple different spray paint caps uh, this yellow one is amazing for this Montana gold um, this one is also really good it's a it's a yellow one as well I, I call it a German thin because that's what they remind me of back in the day when I used to buy the gray ones, they were gray. Um, you could use a, this is a, it's so funny because there's two different caps. They look exactly the same, but if you look at them close. They're completely different. They're used completely different. One's called a New York Fat and one's called a New York Skinny. And the Skinny has lines that are a little bit more close together and the Fat, it has a little bit wider. Um, and if you guys didn't know, you could take your Rust-Oleum spray paint, take the cap off. This is an adapter. Put your put your cap on first. Put your cap on first, then put this on the Rust-Oleum can or the Krylon, whichever. I don't know. Um, and you can use a really nice cap. And the and the caps really make a difference. Um, I was showing ideas earlier. This is, and this is a, a good representation of how caps. This is with a stock cap from Montana. Montana paint is an amazing paint. And I put that yellow cap, this one, on it and got that. You can tell it's completely different. Such a great, um, great use. I would definitely buy these if you want your paint smooth. But they're probably not doing a whole bunch of design stuff with spray paint. They're just doing the base of their canvases and they don't want it to be spattery. Well, that's what I'm saying. Use a good cap. That's all I'm saying. I need to get a, uh, this is a good one too, light gray. And if you want, I can go to uh, my place. It's called the Rec Shop um, here in Dallas. Uh, my friend Ben owns it. Super nice guy. If you guys are in Dallas, go check it out. They have all your uh, artist needs I and skateboards me. and uh, a lot of amazing paint. They stock a lot of uh, spray paint. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Which resin is good but has the longest working time? 
longest working time that we've worked with lately has been Stone Coat's Art Coat. And we have a link to that down in the description box. Down underneath this video. Um. Just check it out. I mean, it's not any more than Art Resin. I don't even think it's any more. I think it's similar in price to Art Thanks, Resin. Thanks, Anita. We try. We love to, to share what we've learned. Um, Along it's exciting to know that you've, you've done something and you're passing it along to, to somebody so that they don't have to either spend the money or destroy something and, and then have to go buy it again, go buy a canvas or go buy a you know, product or something. Um, art is amazing. Art, art is... Should be I understand shared. you have to pay your dues, um, but... It's not, there's nothing wrong with, with helping, helping people out. This is Long already set up. What did you say, Val? I'm sorry, I didn't see your question. Erica, Shay said, Shay Harbor, Harbaugh? Mm -hmm. Erica, you inspired me to try a geo this weekend. You got this. Jeff, did you pick up your favorite album this year? Um, We're still we, trying them. We we printed out one. Let me see if if you'll. Where is it at? I think it's over there. No, I think it's by the couch. Oh, it's on my. Digging it, y'all. Digging. This this one this one might be the winner. But we don't know yet because we haven't tried them all. We so. don't know yet, so we'll we we'll, uh, we'll try them at the end. Uh, we'll tell you at the end of uh, this month, a couple days. Um, it's chicken guacamole sliders. Y'all, I'm so excited about this resin. Look at that. It doesn't bleed. How amazing. Um, it's whoever sent. You sent one, two, three, four, five of them. Six of them. I'm getting into the diamond dust, y'all. Where am I? Am I here? It's not a drug. This is. Let's see. Val, I found, lost my house key, but finally made it inside. That geo looks fabulous. <laughs> well, good. Got any tips for trigger finger? What? Uh, what? What do you mean by that? Like, just the way you spray it? I don't know. I don't know. How to have a proper trigger finger? Um, Christy Durant, we, we, we have a lot of the stuff that we first did. A lot of it got thrown out as well. Um, I don't know. What's a lot of our stuff name? sells. She says, um, just out of interest, Christy Durant, Jeff and E, have you kept your first ever resin art to see the progress? Well, that's the kind of game? what the videos are for, but we do have the OG ones. Judy has my first one, the little EV square one that I took to lunch with me for like four days in a row. We showed Jason at that place you like to get parfaits. That little black and pink one. And Jeff's first one is in there that we did up at your parents' house. The purple and Gold one? Let's see. Val, I, uh, I didn't see it. Are you on top chat or go to live chat? Uh. For some reason it auto populates to top chat instead of live chat. And so that 
for some reason, I don't know what the reason is, it doesn't post all of the comments. How will you hang the geo? Haley wants to know. I have no idea. I think I'm going to use these little plate, like decorative plate hangers. I think you should hang it, make one with all the rainbow colors and hang it in the window. You guys, our windows are huge. You know what I thought about doing with our windows? If they would let us do it, Doubt it. is measure out how big a window is put this black plastic down or get some more of this plastic that is Tiffany? Tiffany Tiffany sent us lay it out on something really smooth and just pour all different colors and like uh, make transparent glass. and make and cut it perfectly and just put it on the window well how awesome would that be if they won't let us even tint the windows I doubt they're gonna let us multicolor the windows did you say uh, Ramona asked, did you stay out doing a full tour? Probably start out. Uh, yeah, she did. She did some research. Um, and then we just went and bought a lot of paint. <laughs> we uh, we had a good run at acrylic pours. It was just, it just gets... Uh, it was disheartening as much paint as we wasted. You use a lot more paint than you do when you, when you make a good one. <laughs> like... There's more bad than good. In our uh, history of it. Yeah, in our history. But we're very picky about our... What do you think stuff. about this? You. What do you think about this? I love it. I love the texture. I'm thinking and about putting That's it the down. glass you're using without I, It doesn't work with the gloves. Um, I can't control it. The only thing is, aren't you going to put another layer over that, or are you done with that? No, I'm going to do another layer. And will that stick? Because that's setting. It looks like it's sinking a little bit. I'm gonna do another layer though, so it'll definitely appear. I see. Team <laughs> Shelby. Oh, Cheryl sent that one. The the, uh, the sliders. Awesome. Yeah. We might. I might. Uh, let me see if. We need to bring something. We are not hungry right now. In two hours we will be. Maybe I'll make those when we go over to Gates today. I'm so, like, she, her due date is today. Y'all. I'm so pumped for her. They just moved into a lovely new abode. I'm going to send this to Gay and be like, also steak. I'm so pumped for y'all to see this diamond dust up all up in this. Live view shot enabled. Marcy sent me a picture. Thank you, Marcy. I'll check it out. We have the best fans. We do. And by fans, I mean fans. 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 All right. Um, now I'm just curious about Val's question. Um, I'm sorry I didn't answer that. Um, Val, your painting is going out on Monday. That's the one we had to go take off the wall at Artco. We had to do another top coat on it. Let's see here. Annie Liston. So not only have I started art resin, I also am a tattoo artist and just started dabbling in airbrushing. Oh. I love watching earlier. Awesome. You just picked up all of the, the ways to art, just all at one time. Yeah. People always say, because I the way I airbrush, I should be a tattoo artist, and it's nothing like tattooing. It doesn't translate. <laughs> it's like how, like, how do you even tell somebody that? Ready to give them a closey up. I watch while working out. You two help me get through my treadmill workout, even if I only watch a video. Thanks, Mother Nature. Maybe. What? Do I have a light? And can you switch me to this camera? I can. All right. Hold on, y'all. We are about to get 
shaky. Shake right there. Um, light. Yes, I do have a light. I took it out of here, though. Oh, you could have used your phone. Oh, I guess you could. I think we're going to move this into the other art area. What do you guys think about that? Laura Taylor loves the idea already. You want to do both? Um, hold on, let's do this. Is it I think light? that light is too bright over there. Man, that looks so good. I think this sunk in the middle too much. You're moving around way Sorry. too much. Can you guys see that? It's very difficult with all the, the flashes. Try not to get too shaky on you guys. Well, now it's way too dark. Well, well, well I thought it's you really were going to do that. You can kind of see it. Let's transition to this. Well, read what they're saying. Man, this looks so good in person. Oh, thanks, Anita. The walls are made from silicone caulking. Much clearer views up close, looking great. Bye, sweater cut, new cow. These cameras try to correct itself and it makes it all blurry too much. Sure that makes you guys dizzy. I apologize. <laughs> that it's so crazy. This like this lighting is like it almost looks better without these floodlights. But that looked like a true right. This is my test. Give me something teal. And if it looks blue, it looks blue. Well, that teal, that sparkly teal looks, but that looks blue, that's blue. What do you guys think of that? I got diamond dust from Michael from the floral section. I didn't even know diamond dust was that, Michael. Where do you get the diamond dust? No, I want diamond dust. Sparkle. <laughs> I have it all linked down in the description box below. Check out the Amazon link. It should be in there. To be clear, there is some glitter in there in the inside rim. That is this glitter. The diamond dust is ultra clear glass, and I added some extra fine holographic glitter, which I also got from Michael's. It came in this set. The glitter did. From Color Creatology. I got one set out here. Yeah. Nope said, you guys are wonderfully evil and bad for my wallet. I went out to get stuff to do a free form. All right, you guys, I'm going to see if I can, first of all, get up over this hump. I'm going to see how set this 
Maybe at this point. <gasps> He's busy, so I'll show you guys. You guys witnessed my entire creation of this. Let's get y'all in here real good. Okay, look. Can you even see that? Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can see it touching. Yeah, but it's it's not moving. What color is the middle, Erica? No, it, it's no color. This? That's 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 the plastic. Yeah, Joe Fish, it's set. <laughs> Like, you could touch it. See, the white's going to be the last color I put on there. So it'll be good one. Can y'all hear that? So technically, I could go ahead and do the next layer. How bananas is that? You can get a geo done in one day with this stuff. You do have to move quick because as you guys saw with one of my first colors, it's set up super fast, but. I like this, this setup right here because you can make this a little bigger and you can have all that on the screen. How heavy is it? I don't think it's that heavy right now. Deborah Cox, how are you? Nah. Hi Deb. I think this will hang. I'm going to try it. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, it is a time saver, Vamp. It's, uh, it's, it's really good, but like you saw earlier, you have to remember that you're, <laughs> that you're using this quick set because you'll sit there and you'll be stirring and thinking about it, and then all of a sudden it sets up, and then you've wasted all that resin. Move Loopy Lou, that's right. Lisa Ham, we use the fast set. Uh, this is quick set by quick set. Stone Coat. It's Stone Coat's quick coat. Good night, Val. Send me your question again. I I still didn't answer it. Val, I'm looking. Does, if you want to ask it one more time, I'll I'm here. We'll, we'll find it. I don't think that's going to be heavy at all, right? I don't think so. Um, Deb, I'm going to figure out how to hang it when I get there. I don't think it'll be too heavy to hang. Um, I'm going to start by using these decorative plate hangers that you just put the sticky on the back and then there's a D-ring mm -hmm. to Is hang that it. your last coat? No, I think I'm going to do one more. Which I could do right I want to peel it up. <laughs> Mother Nature, you don't have to sand between layers. I'm going to do a quick cut over the top of the whole thing. Nope, a flood coat. So that will bond it all together because it's going to roll over the edges. And that will keep them from peeling if that was a Do you change. think you'll destroy this, taking this off? Um, I don't think so because it's real malleable. Like it Do bends. you think you can use it again? I think I'll probably be able to use it again. We'll Do see. You, what about this? Because this is so flimsy, would you be able to pull this out of there and have this stay there? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we're, we'll be able to bend this like this yeah. and like peel it out. If not, at the very worst, what I'm going to do is cut a slit in this and then get a finger in there and then peel it. That's not a horrible. Are we going to miss Val's question again? I think she went to bed. Jeff, 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 question above. <laughs> um, I'm glad you have your mo uh, mojo back, Kelly. Can you show us the difference between quick coat and art coat? 
I can't really show you the difference unless I mix up. Get some rest, Crystal. The two kinds. Thanks for hanging out with us. But I will tell you the difference. Um, the art coat has a way longer working time. It's at least 45. We've always gotten at least an hour. This working time is 15 minutes, maybe 20. Um, this is hard cured in like a week, or I think like completely hard set in a week. Whereas this quick set is like hard enough to sand within two hours. For this stone coat art coat, it takes probably 12 hours before you can sand it, whereas this is two hours. Jeff, do you see question airbrush trigger? Yeah, I was asking. I didn't know what airbrush trigger meant. Is that meaning for the airbrush or for spray paint can? What's about the question it? about it? I don't, I don't get it. Like, are you asking how to do it or how to get used to it or? When <laughs> I really no first tricks. did it, I, my fingers are really numb on certain areas. Um, the one thing is, it might, if you're asking about trigger finger. Um, if your finger gets tired or are you talking about tricks as in different ways to do it because there's really not there's really not any um so I might attempt doing a table this is also a test to see how stable it is once it's fully cured I'm gonna unmold it and lay it over something where it has the ability to droop on the edges to see if it does wilt What's up, Khaleesi? I made the walls using silicone caulking, which I don't have the tube should of. should be right there in the top of the trash. Uh-huh. I used this stuff. It is 100% silicone caulking, mold-free, and et cetera-free. I just cut the tip a little bit larger and did rings and layers to build up my exterior and interior walls. Maybe it's regarding the double action of the trigger. Let us know if you have any other questions. We're here to help. Um, 
if it's about um, if your finger's getting tired or cramped up or sore, don't grab the airbrush so tight. Just loosen your hand. That, that definitely helps with if you're getting cramps in the middle of your, your hand. Um, Val, the last thing we saw from you says, yes, airbrush trigger on airbrush. But we're trying to figure out what about the trigger we can answer your question of. What is your actual? Doesn't look like anybody's seeing your question, Val. But we'll, yeah. we'll be happy to answer it. Just if you want to, if you want to, uh, you've got our email. Val. Email us. Shoot just us email, email us, um, or hit us up on Facebook and Messenger, and I'll get you. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. Is move? Can moves go? down the pressure um, and if you have a double action or a single action that makes a big difference too I think she said double action. because when you press it down the first when you press it it should be just air and if there is paint coming out you need to clean out your the cone that's inside the little cone and or your needle it's very important that you clean all that out really good or just get a new one because you'll have splatters um, yeah no matter how heavy handed you are on your trigger. Tell me you've got some sippy sippy. We don't, but we might after we get to our friend's house. All right. What? Do you have to say bye to everybody? Oh, well, come on. See you guys. <laughs> All right, y'all, since we are in a hurry, we will be back. My arms look like they have definition now. Good job, Andy. No we're, way, you know. We're <laughs> going to get back to our regularly scheduled time. Saturday. Um, so that we'll be on at 8 o'clock every night, except for on Tuesdays, because we're going to be watching Stump Oaks Live those on Tuesdays. So we'll have an earlier video or a pre-recorded video. If you guys have any questions that we did not see, because apparently we didn't get all the questions today, shoot us an email at thornton at artistalet.com, two T's, two L's, and visit all of these other sites that have helpful handy dandy information. Who wants to say hi? Yo, no, or go. Come here. Go say hi. Come here. Oh, goodness. Miz. He's gotten so much love from y'all, and he's spoiled with banana treats and toys and presents. Okay, let's go. Okay. So we love you guys. Be kind to one another. And we will see you all manana. Bye. I said bye. Didn't even, oh. <laughs> <laughs>